Tyres are high-performance machines that need regular maintenance, especially when it comes to engine care. It's recommended to change the oil every 3,000 to 5,000 miles to help the engine last longer and prevent it from seizing. Failing to change the oil regularly can lead to internal damage, with the most serious consequence being an engine seizure. What is a seized engine? A seized engine is often caused by inadequate lubrication, resulting in heightened friction, heat and wear that ultimately immobilize the engine's moving parts. This can happen when the oil runs out or isn't circulated properly, leading to internal metal elements rubbing against each other and generating a lot of heat. Seized engines can result in little to significant damage and can even occur when the engine is not running due to corrosion. What causes it? 1. Low oil level. When your engine's oil level is low, parts melt, the engine overheats and the bearings eventually suffer damage. 2. Water buildup. Unlike gasoline, which is compressible, water can cause an engine to seize. 3. Rust buildup. When an automobile is left unused for a long time, rust accumulates and when usage is attempted, the engine seizes. 4. Despite being uncommon, faulty components might occur, which is why drivers should be informed of any part recalls on their vehicles. How do you tell your car engine has seized? 1. The most obvious symptom of a seized engine is when nothing happens when you crank your car. When no matter how hard you try, your car won't start. 2. Loud cranking or clunking noises are caused by the starter hitting the flywheel due to inadequate lubrication. 3. As a result of the engine's inability to turn over, fumes, smoke and even fire might occur. All of these events are sure signs that the engine is having a seizure. 4. The piston may be seen when inspecting the engine because, with sufficient force, the loose parts will ram into another area of the engine. In the end, improper maintenance, particularly an engine with insufficient oil, is the leading cause of engine failure. There is currently discussion surrounding the use of conventional or synthetic oil in vehicles. How do you fix a seized engine? There is little you can do to fix an engine that has seized up while you are driving short of an extensive engine repair or replacement. Pull the spark plugs from each cylinder if your engine has seized up after being idle for a while. Add engine oil to the cylinders, then let it sit for a few days. After that, try using a breaker bar to start the engine. You might be able to save the engine if it moves. Otherwise, you'll have to take it apart and rebuild it. Is it possible for you to drive with this issue? Not at all. When an engine seizes, the internal parts stop moving due to being trapped. The main concern is whether a seized engine may still move. An engine that has seized is unable to turn over, causing the automobile to not start or move as the engine supplies power to the wheels. Therefore, it is impossible to drive with a seized engine. Like and subscribe for more.